today we're going to take a look at uh, two tools made by Hive for um, finishing inside and outside corners when you're drywalling. Um, this is the inside corner, I call it a finisher, um, and the outside corner uh, finisher. So the problem when you try and do both sides with your traditional six inch taping knife is you get one side nice and smooth and then when you go to do the other side you end up taking mud out of the corner creating a little groove in this side that you just did and you'll hit it with the edge of your knife and create little scars in the mud. So this finishing tool allows you to basically smooth out both sides and the very corner with one pass, one tool um, and you'll want to start at the top and work your way down and then start at the bottom and work your way back up um, with this to get it. The groove that we created with the six, six inch knife, it basically fills that in and feathers the edges simultaneously. So the grooves filled in nicely, the edges are feathered out evenly and then you can just clean that up with your six inch knife on the outside afterwards and then that, that'll be able to finish sand and paint that. Um, so both sides are done in one day. Situation where I'm a painter and I had an inside corner that needed to be repaired before I could paint, I could use this, get both sides done and get to painting quicker. And also, you know, repairing outside corners, this will create a nice even outside corner where maybe the corner bead got damaged, got pushed in. Um, and you don't want to go through the, the uh, labor of removing the whole corner bead and starting from scratch with a new one. You can create a nice 90 degree outside corner with this tool. The inside one is slightly obtuse, being greater than 90 degrees here, so that you can work it into the corner and there'll be slight pressure on both sides. So the outside corner tool is uh, slightly acute, a little less than 90 degrees. That allows you to place it on an outside corner apply pressure that basically brings it to a 90 and we'll apply an even amount of joint compound to both sides of the corner simultaneously. So the key to using this tool is um, just knowing how much pressure to apply to um, force the mud into the corner uh, filling the groove created by the knife on the, um, on the uh, final pass with the uh, six inch knife and it's an obtuse angle so you need to apply pressure to get it to a 90 degree point and then and that's so it's just a little practice but um, once you do it a few times you kind of get a good feel for it and it smooths it right out it takes excess mud off and you have a nice clean inside corner that once it's dried a little finished sanding on the edge and you're ready to paint.